So many people doing beats. You gotta be the best of the best, man. Ain't nobody yeah. going to put no money into a project that they can't market. You dig what I'm saying? So you gotta make yourself marketable. You dig what I'm saying? You gotta just keep thinking different and outside of the box and not thinking of what's going on right now and what's up to date with the regular. No matter what level you think you on, the newest dude up in here, you better show him the same respect you want. If you meet the right people and don't burn bridges, you'll stay in the game, you'll be successful. You just have to build up your resume so they have, mm -hmm. you know, they have, you gotta have something to get their attention. It's not all about talent, it's your drive, investing yourself. Be an individual, be yourself, be as good as you can be and it's gonna be all good for you. You will be different. Sometimes it's about paying the dues that, you know, it seems like a sacrifice while you're doing it, but in the long run, you gotta look at the big picture. It's gonna end off paying dividends in the future. To be a great artist, a musician, producer, you have to almost see it, hear it, to be able to give it to somebody else and describe to them what you want them to do. That's part of being a producer. So I'm saying, be willing. Say willing. 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 Reinvent the wheel, take the wheel, know the wheel, know the greatest that came down, know that music, know that music, know that music. I think the number one thing is for you to conquer your own area. I mean, you gotta be the hottest in your city before you can go somewhere else. Be confident about what you do, but don't be cocky. You know what I'm saying? Because, you know, as a DJ, you get a lot of people who come up to you every day giving you music, telling you just like, you know what I'm saying? He said, oh, I'm hot, I'm the new, I'm the hottest man in the streets, you know what I'm saying? This, 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 such and such, and it really don't translate to nothing unless, you know what I'm saying, you're really doing something. I'm gonna keep it real, it's all about who you know. That's real talk. If a certain person comes up to me and says, yeah, that boy's hot, I'm going to go off them. I'll go off Archer, PK, John. Like They let me know like that he's hot. I'm not going to know. I might not even know, but he's going to let me know. And then he, I'm going to be like, all right, I might play it or listen to it just because he told me. It's also about getting in front of people's faces. I go out as much as I can, clubs, whatever, even if I'm not spinning. Where it's cracking, that's where you need to be. You need to stay relevant. You need to stay in people's faces. You can't make it that difficult on the manager either. Your attitude yes. has a lot to do with it. Yes. Uh, you can blow relationships and he's going to go in there and try and fix it up for you, but you know, for the most part, you got to watch what you do too as well. A very important skill is communication, the ability to communicate the message with, with anyone. A lot of managers don't have a particular credential, there's not a particular criteria for being a manager, so it's really important for you to develop a relationship with somebody that you trust. Keep it real with the people you're doing business with, man, at the end of the day, because Somebody gonna find out and they gonna look at you funny. How do you get close to somebody first, make money, bring value to the table? And then we, you know, we friends because we make a lot of money together. We weren't friends before. You know what I'm saying? We're, <laughs> we're friends because we made a lot of money before too. We laugh in the club now because we make a lot of money together. But okay. before, it wasn't like that. I just was at Motown and, and watched how Smokey Robinson was hugging Barry Gordy. And some people wouldn't even know who that was. Knowing your history and learning your craft before you think that you can really get out there without having even paid any dude. Traditional role of an A&R is just to find talent. It's like a talent scout. You find talent, be they primarily artists, but you know, be they artists, writers, producers, um, whomever. You bring it into your label, whatever company you work for, and you develop that talent. You know your market, or at least you should as an A&R. You supply that product, songs, artists, the brand, to the market. The market buys it you make money for your company. Oh, I'm so. Jay Ellis, my a and at Rap Alive Records, uh, assistant manager for Double Dose Entertainment, which is Bun B's, Mike Jones's, and uh, Biggie, a couple of other Houston producers. Uh, we manage all of those guys, so. When you look at relationships, you build relationships on responsibility, and you build, you build relationships on something called duty. 
you know what I mean? Duty to the relationship. Keep it solid. Don't put the business out there. If it's a problem, it's between me and you. You call me and cuss me out, I'll call you and cuss you out. You know what I mean? The playing field has changed. I have to learn about this every day because I'm a little bit behind on the online technology there is today. It's starting to put us all on the same playing field. Before, with the budget, the dollars that you needed to put out CDs, if you didn't have it, if you didn't have the distribution, you can get on iTunes now, you can get videos online. I, I, we can't sleep on the opportunity. But I think the biggest part of the game right now is being visual. Because, I mean, a lot of people, you know, a lot of artists, they was thinking, oh, we gotta sound like the South, oh, we gotta sound, make a song like GZ, make a song. But really what it is, is we just gotta make what we doing out here dope again. This game right here, it's been blessed, it's been paying our bills and living and taking care of my family, man. And it's because, yeah, yeah real talk. Yeah. But it's because, a motherfucker, I came to these events and all the shit. I had my CDs, I had my bag with my, with my, with my uh, SB1200 data uh, disc flop. It's like before you got a name and before you really popping, man, you can't be on no high horse shit. Oh, uh, you know, working with the Balians and uh, Exhibit, Be Real, and uh, his name, Crazy Bone, and some other people. But, uh, yeah, yeah, you know, just started, you know, real early, selling tapes and stuff in high school and stuff, and, you know, took it real seriously, and, uh, uh yeah, just kind of stuck with it ever since, and, you know, yeah. <laughs> Guy's amazing. Hey, don't let him fool you. That guy's brilliant. Everybody's so nice, everybody's so humble. These guys did an incredible job with this conference. Please give it up. And it's, uh, it's the first year we're gonna definitely do a second one. And uh, you know, I want to thank these guys for coming out and supporting it. Thank you very much.